here's a common kitchen conundrum that I know a lot of people have. Overcooked, dry, crumbly fish. Today I'm gonna to show you the easiest way to cook and prepare fish, and you'll be making it every single night of the week. Now, when I talk about overcooked fish, you can see what I mean here. Most fish, especially fatty fish like this salmon, it has a lot of oil in it, which secretes when you overcook it at a high, high temperature. I'm gonna show you the simplest way to avoid that. Now I'm using salmon today, but you could use any fish. And when you're shopping for fish, try to find a sustainable source. Right here in front of me, I have wild salmon versus farm salmon, and you can see the difference in the color of the flesh. The farm salmon has a lighter color, doesn't have a very intense flavor, it's kind of mild. But the wild salmon has a really delicious flavor, and that's because of the diet, because it doesn't have a feed that it's fed, it just eats out in the wild. So I'm gonna use the wild salmon today and a liberal sprinkling of some oil. Just kind of gently coat the fish and season it up with some salt and freshly ground pepper. Super simple, nothing fancy here. Now I have a nonstick skillet heating over medium high heat. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil to the pan and you can see that it's nice and hot. The oil is dancing around the pan and I'm gonna place the fish skin side down. And what this does is it gets a really nice crisp sear to the skin. It crisps it up, it makes it crunchy and even more delicious. So into the pan and then we're gonna cook the fish in the oven at 350 degrees, a lower temperature. So we're taking it from this direct heat and we're moving it to an indirect heat. And what it does to the proteins in the fish, it coils them up and when you do it at a lower temperature, it coils the proteins slowly. If you do it at a high, high temperature, it coils the proteins up and constricts them. And what that does is it expels moisture and fat. And that's what you have here with this salmon filet. You can see that the moisture and the fat has been pushed out of the salmon filet, leaving it nice and dry. So it's been a few minutes. The salmon skin is nice and brown. And I'm gonna give it a flip and maybe a minute or so on this side and right into the oven to finish cooking. All right, so I'm gonna go right into the oven, 350 degrees for about five to seven minutes, depending on the thickness of the fish. So it's been about five minutes, and I wanna show you a little trick here on how you can tell whether or not the fish is done. If you take a cake tester or if you use a thin paring knife like this and you insert it into the center of your fish fillet and you pull it out, you should be able to feel some warmth and you want warmth and you can touch it to the underside of your lip, you can touch it to your hand and you know if the knife is warm, the fish is fully cooked in the center. So I'm going to just put this right onto my plate and I like just a little bit of lemon, some butter would be really nice, you would create a wonderful sauce on the plate. And there you have it, perfectly cooked fish and all it really takes is a few minutes and a few tricks. If you have any kitchen conundrums that you need solved, write in the comment section below or reach out to me using the hashtag kitchen conundrums and I will solve whatever kitchen problems you may have.